Hey everyone, and welcome to Kibi's Collectibles. If you are new to my channel, my name is Pam, and this channel is all about thrifting to find unique decor pieces for my home, or pieces that I can resell in my booth. Stay tuned until the end so you can check out my haul. So go grab your coffee, go grab your tea, and let's get shopping. I loved these two little modern planters. They are not marked, but they look like they are from Target. I believe this piece is called a Jack in the Pulpit. It is a hand-blown vase that resembles a calla lily. Right behind the Jack in the Pulpit, I saw this lovely hand-painted vase. Its scalloped edges were so sweet and the paint was in great condition. I thought I would check out this ceramic wall art. Are these onions or garlic? I wish there were a few other pieces to go with it. I was surprised that this one wasn't all chipped up. These egg cups were adorable. Very springy, farmhousey to me. Of course, they are modern, but I could see them on a spring breakfast table setting. This creamer looks like a wooden barrel. It is made by Royal Sealy. It had a huge crack and it's not considered to have much of a profit margin, so I left this one on the shelf. And here is another creamer with a coordinating sugar dish. This set is from 2006 and although you can't tell, the creamer looks like a little milk bottle, which I thought was really cute. This is a Le Creuset saucepan. It may be the number 16, there was no lid with it, and the green on this saucepan has been painted on. And the price was fantastic for this piece, but I wasn't sure if the paint would damage the saucepan. I liked this juice glass. It looked like the Libby Owl juice glasses, but this one had a candle inside, and of course, no price. You know what happened the last time I tried to purchase something without a price. The stripes on these glasses caught my eye, and when I pulled them up front, I noticed the thick base with a little bubble in the middle. These are called Bailey's Irish Cream Rocks glasses with a bubble base. They were really good looking glasses. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell and set it to all. That way you will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. I checked out this cute lamb salt and pepper shaker. It was made in Taiwan in 1990, so that is considered vintage. This pair of candle holders are made by Spode from England. It is the Christmas tree pattern. Of course, they do not have a price. And I looked them up on eBay and there is not a big resale value, so I decided to leave them behind. Mm -hmm. 
This modern planter came from TJ Maxx and I was surprised to see the butterfly's wings were still intact. So many people are quite rough with the merchandise on the shelves here in Goodwill. I noticed these pictures on the shelf and immediately thought of the Threshold brand from Target. Ah, close! Hearth and Hand Stoneware Pitcher, originally priced at $19.99. Then, this adorable lemon pitcher. Yes, Threshold. I don't know if lemon decor is in or out this year, but this lemon pitcher is adorable for summer entertaining. You know, I like this vase. I like the simple shape and the images of bamboo. It's made by Panda Garden and it's made in China, so it is not a vintage piece, but it is quite pretty. This planter, y'all, can you feel the mid-century modern vibes? The 70s have called. I love it. There was a chip and there were cracks in this planter, so I didn't buy it, but I absolutely loved it. This was a cute little dish with a metal pedestal a little bit high in price, in my opinion. This modern planter had that boho look to it. It was another planter from TJ Maxx. Wouldn't this planter look great with a pothos plant or a snake plant? I believe this is Whittier Pottery. These are two vintage fish snack plates and they should have come with dipping cups. Oh, I love this little terracotta pot. I love the shape and the handles on the side. Looks like it may have come from Target. These four round woven placemats look a little dirty to me, so I'll pass on these. And I found more of these boho style bamboo serving trays. These are really on trend right now. I was interested in this beautiful candle holder. It was lead crystal and made in Germany. I like the star shape of it and it would be beautiful during Christmas time. This canvas came from TJ Maxx originally. I like the southwestern vibe of the planters and the colors were soft and calming to me. Next to it, I found a great bamboo utensil caddy with a handle. This is great to have for any outside entertaining, especially this summer. It was in perfect condition and it just needed a little cleaning. Y'all, check out this three-tier wooden mail holder. It is meant to hang on the wall. And I wonder if this piece is from the 70s or the 80s. If you know, please leave me a comment. These fancy candlesticks were resin and painted gold. No price tag, of course. And take a look at this really nice coat rack, y'all. It had that farmhouse rustic feel, but what a great looking piece. And it was only $3.95, and that's a great price. Mm -hmm. 
On my way to the checkout, I spotted this wooden hand-carved owl. It had beautiful details and would be perfect for any owl lover's collection. The first thing I purchased that I would like to share with you is this lemon pitcher. I decided that I needed to pick this up. It is so fun and would be a precious way to serve ice cold lemonade to your guests this summer. It is in perfect condition and I got it at a great price at only $3.95. Next, I purchased this beautiful bud vase. I love the frilly edges with the gold around the rim. It's not faded off, and the gorgeous hand-painted flowers are perfect, y'all. I absolutely love this piece and will keep it for a while, but I may eventually sell it. All right, everyone, that is it for today. Thank you for shopping along with me today. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment below. Tell me what your favorite item was. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.